Accumulating miles has some similarities to investing. You'll only reap the fruits of your labor years down the road unless you're a baller who spends two to three thousand dollars a month. And note that not every transaction will earn you miles. Flying business and first class seems nice, but are you ready for the process of it? Hopefully by the end of this video, you get an idea of what to consider before you start your miles accumulation journey. Let's dive straight into today's video. Let's go. Timestamps to this video will be made available down in the description box below, so skip around if you would like to. I'm going to share with you 5 points, things you need to take note of before you start accumulating for miles, and then at the end of this video, share with you what is my personal miles accumulation credit card strategy for this year. Point number one is making sure you're using the right credit card that gives you the highest earn rate possible. If you were on the Yobi ladies card that gives you 6 miles per dollar on one or two categories, take note that from the 31st of March, 2024, it goes back down to being a 4 miles per dollar card, which is still not too bad of an earn rate. There are other credit cards that offers 4 miles per dollar and you should have them in your wallet as well because Yobi Ladies is only on a selected 1 or 2 categories. Other credit cards that you can look at can be the HSBC Revolution, of which I talked a lot about on this channel. You can refer to the playlist I'll link up above and down in the description box below. Do not go for a card like the CD Premium Miles that gives you 1.2 CD miles per $1 local spend. There's no expiry dates to the miles as well, of which I'll talk more about this later on. But this is something like an unlimited cashback credit card where you can put more or less any transactions to this credit card apart from the general list of exclusions in the terms and conditions to earn you a basic miles rate. But when you're accumulating 4 miles, you should try and get the highest earn rate possible, which is right now a 4 miles per dollar credit card. Point number two is making sure your credit card strategy doesn't end up with orphan miles. Orphan miles are points that can't be redeemed for any miles near the expiry date due to insufficient amounts accumulated. A very good example is the Standard Chartered Smart credit card that gives you a very high 5.6 miles per dollar on selected merchants. Things like your public transportation, your bus and MRT rides, digital subscriptions like YouTube, Spotify, Netflix, Disney Plus, and you have fast food, McDonald's, Subway, KFC, Burger King, and coffee and toast at Yakun, Toast Box, and Fun Toast. Because of how limited the qualifying transactions you can get a 5.6 mile per dollar rate on, you might not be able to accumulate enough, which is 34,500 points, converting that to 10,000 miles before the expiry date of the points. Unless you are a person who spends a lot on fast food and also coffee and toast, I don't see another way a person can actually accumulate that much by the time the points expire. But a consoling factor about this credit card is that you can redeem the points for cashback and the cashback rate is also very high at 6%. So for me, I hold this card and I still charge whatever transactions that qualifies for a 5.6 miles per dollar and by the end or rather close to the expiry date, if I can't convert it into miles, at least I can still redeem it for 6% cashback. That is point number two, making sure your credit card strategy doesn't end up with any orphan miles. Point number three is making sure you don't overspend on one card alone. If you put more transactions than what is allowed, your miles per dollar rate will only diminish. For example, HSBC Revolution, CD Rewards, UOB Ladies has a cap of $1,000 per month to earn a high 4 miles per dollar rate on. DBS Women's World Mastercard, for those of you who are holding this credit card, they have changed the amounts from $2,000 qualifying transactions to $1,500 from 1st of March 2023. So just take note of of that. If you're watching this video and you are after cashback, the way I feel you can relate to it is take for example the Yobi Evo credit card which is a $600 minimum spending credit card that gives you 8% cashback. You only get $40 cashback when you optimize it for $250 online spend, $250 mobile contactless and also $100 on either of it to meet the minimum spending requirement. And if you put more than $600 on this credit card, your percentage cashback rate of 6.67% will only diminish as you add more expenses to it because it doesn't earn you that 8% cashback. There is a cap to the cashback amount. The same goes for this miles credit card. So make sure you don't spend more than what is allowed on one particular credit card. Point number four is making sure your points accumulated do not expire. Keep track of it, otherwise all your efforts will be wasted. There's no shortcut to this in my own opinion unless 
you track the statements accordingly. I use Notion as a template to list down all the cards that I have, the points expiry date and also the card approval date. So if you take a look at this screenshot right now, CD Rewards has a 5 years plus 3 months grace period from the card approval date and that is why I take note of when the card was approved. DBS Altitude has no points expiry. That is the rare few cards that actually give you points that do not expire but the earn rate is not as high. HSBC Revolution will be 37 months after points are earn. Usually this is documented in the app as well. Keep track of it. This is how I'm doing it for myself. Point number five, a short one, is to make sure you start as early as possible. When destination doesn't matter, just start accumulating first because the mouse accumulation journey similar to investing is a pretty long one. Take for example, if I want to fly my mom on business class, it's 52,000 miles I need to accumulate and that is a lot in expenditures. In this video, I've covered how long I will need to accumulate that amount of miles to fly both me and my mom to Seoul, South Korea on business class. This is the five points you need to take note of before you start your mouse accumulation journey and I hope it has helped you in one way or another. Now let's go to my mouse strategy. What credit cards am I using for what particular expenditures? Let's go. I've mentioned this a lot as I do my videos and write articles on the website. Do not inflate your expenses just to accumulate more miles or just to hit a card's minimum spending requirement for cashback. This is how I've planned out whatever expenses that I currently have and use whatever credit card that can match to give me the best rewards out there. This table and the article is also listed on my website if you want to read and somewhere to reference. I'll put a link down in the description box below. For public transportation, digital subscriptions, fast food and coffee and toast, it's the standard chartered smart credit card of which I did mention earlier. It gives you 5.6 miles per dollar or 6% cashback, kept at $818 per month. Thereafter, going to dining, food delivery, supermarket, shopping, taxi, flight tickets and gym memberships, it goes to the HSBC Revolution credit card that gives me 4 miles per dollar kept at $1,000. And for those of you who do not know, I have a playlist of the HSBC Revolution credit card guides. Whether should you be using it all up in this playlist, refer to that if you need a credit card guide. After bursting that $1,000 on HSBC Revolution, I would then go to the CD Rewards credit card. CD Rewards is a great card for people going after miles when you're overseas. Pair it with Instagram Amaze, use that credit card overseas, clock whatever expenses that you can and it can earn you 4 miles per dollar because of this pairing. CD Rewards, by nature, if you use the card alone, it's only for online transactions and some in-person transactions listed in their TNCs. But when you pair it with Instagram Amaze, it converts whatever in-person transaction to online and that way you can earn 4 miles per dollar. Kept that also $1,000 per statement month. For phone bill and utilities, it's UOB Absolute Amex for 1.7% cashback. For travel, I've selected it for the UOB Ladies credit card on a selected one or two categories that allows you to earn 4 miles per dollar from the 31st of March onwards, I've selected travel. You might ask me why did I choose travel when there is other things like beauty and wellness, shopping, entertainment, dining for Yobi ladies. It is because I already have HSBC Revolution plus CD Rewards that can give me that 4 miles per dollar and I don't think I spend a lot every single month on that. $2,000 is already sufficient for me and if I do have trips coming up planned last minute, I can actually just use the Yobi ladies card that gives me 4 miles per dollar. Not a lot of credit cards available out there actually gives you rewards for putting travel transactions travel bookings on that. For Q2 of 2024, I've selected the travel category for Yobi Ladies. So this is my credit card strategy. One additional card that I've actually just applied yesterday is the DBS Women's World Mastercard. DBS Women's World Mastercard gives you 4 miles per dollar as well for online transactions and I've applied it because I also hold the DBS Altitude credit card of which that will become often mouse because I don't use that credit card a lot. Having the DBS Women's World Mastercard will pull the points together when I want to redeem it and that's why I apply for it. All of the things I've covered, the five points earlier, might not be an exhaustive list of things that you need to know before accumulating miles. I've just picked out a few of which I wish I knew before I started accumulating miles. I hope today's video has helped you in one way or another. If you have any questions for me, go over to Instagram, direct message me over there or leave it down in the comment section below. If you want to support the channel, use whatever credit card links I've put down in the description box below and sign up. And I thank you so much in advance. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.